Well, 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 if it isn't Kill Team News and Glass Half Dead, a better combination has never been made. Apart from my beautiful subscribers and a double hello, let's not waste time, let's talk about the first real news that Kill Team has had in a very long time. Kill Team Pariah Nexus. This has given us a lot to think about. And I know... Uh, so I've just finished my live stream where I, where I talked about this, where I attempted to hobby but failed. Maybe you like the camera angle, maybe you don't, but at least these look interesting if out of focus. I am going to forget a lot of what I said and what other people said in this quick video to sum up what's going on. So if you want to hear my full thoughts, please go and check out the live stream. It's three hours. I don't know how I did that. My bad. It won't be that long again. Anyway, Kelsey Pariah Nexus. I said a while ago, it's probably going to be an arena, it's probably going to have the flayed ones as a kit. Um, and I also said that the flayed ones are probably going to be unique to this box for a while before they're released to the general. So expect this box to go fast. First things first, this is an expansion for Kill Team. Expansion, not a starter box. So I would fully expect that the current Kill Team starter box of... Um, Reavers and Tau will still be available and the reason we know that is because starter box and expansion and They tell us what is in this box and there's no kill team core rules Does this mean you now need to buy the starter box and this no definitely not in fact I actually think This box is a better starter box than the starter box Okay, it does mean you're going to have to buy this and a core book, but there are places where one can get a core book for not 100% retail price, if you know what I'm saying. Who knows? Who knows? That could be found on my Discord. Oh, hey. Check the description to find out where that is. Also, my Patreon. Two things you may wish to consider. Anyway, let's have a quick talk about the pitfalls of this box okay first things first um it's necron themed some people aren't going to like that um obviously last arena that was kind of just generic sci-fi gothic bulkhead themed which if you're into warhammer you're probably into that and you at least accept that as the default this is very different crazily so now I'm okay with that. I think Necrons are cool, uh, so I don't have a problem with this. And uh, you know what? I think those doors look cool, and I think that the little crates they have look generic enough that it doesn't scream Necron to me. Also, do note on the screen here, uh, for the uh, for the 48 times Necron terrain, it says there. If we zoom, oh wait, can I zoom in here? I hope I can. Uh, okay, here we go. Uh, if we look on the little boards here, there are actually two types. Of terrain the one that it's showing here on the screen we can see it's actually the fewer number of blobs uh, blocks here it seems that there will be another type of small kind of barrel thing um, I suspect one might be classified as a barricade the other one might be a barrel don't know that's possible or, or a wall something um, we also see here there are doors placed as doubles now that's a whole new way to use doors going to throw that out there. I'll, I'll, it, so does this mean new door rules? Well, it has to, because as we already know, this is an expansion and we can no longer buy arena. Does this mean, let's not get too deep into it here, because obviously I tend to keep my channel pretty beginner friendly and I don't go too deep into things, but I'll be getting a, a door rule rewording or complete reworking, or are they just going to copy paste? Well, I don't want to say anything bad about our, our overlords, but they're going to copy-paste. Yeah, I know. Uh, although, just very quickly, um, obviously the door rules are very strange in Kill Team Arena, and this is a new chance to, to redo that. And um, we do know that at the time of writing this, they knew that we didn't like, or they, they knew our feedback for Arena. Um, there seems to be overlap there uh, in that timeline. 
so I just really hope that they change them and reword them to be slightly clearer, which they should have given us an F FAQ for anyway. But I really hope they do that so that I can not have a rant video about them. I just, I just want competent rules so that I can just be cool with it, you know? Anyway, um, let's talk about the teams because that's the theme. I like it. I think it's very thematic. Somebody in the chat mentioned, um, do I think, are they going to give us, you know, so this one is the Nexus Pariah. Next up they had, was it Sisters and, it wasn't Marines again, was it? It was Sisters and Drukari? Was it Drukari? Yes, it was Drukari. Yes, because they're re-releasing, um, they're updating the, the Lilith Hesperax model. Does that mean we are actually going to get another Kill Team expansion that's going to be Sisters and Drukari? And it's going to be called whatever, the the Bondage Sister Nexus. No, I don't think so. Um, I kind of get the feeling, and I, I have no reason to base this on, but I kind of get the feeling that Pariah Nexus might be our last expansion until we get a new kill team. Um, or we may get one more, because I think that we're going to get Kill Team 2.0 either at the very end of this year or beginning of next year. So we might have time for one more expansion perhaps but i don't think we're going to get one for every single faction um so i could also be wrong and they will do that maybe this is how they're going to update the game every three or four months we get a new a new two play uh two players uh two faction fighting each other nexus book uh, and that's how we're getting kill team updates from now on that would be crazy. I'd have to really think about whether or not that's good for me, uh, personally. But it'd be, it, w it would mean new rules for kill teams, so I'd probably be on board. But let's not get too deep into that. I don't think it's going to happen. Let's talk about the teams. Oh boy. Okay, so, first things first. We are getting commanders, and we're getting normal units in Arena. So that means they're saying that commanders can be used in arena, which is good. You know, it's good that they're saying this. Nice. However, however, let's just look at the team. So let's also assume that they're going to upgrade the points costs from current kill team, where flayed ones cost 10 points, to 40k, where they cost 13 points. And that means that this five-man unit of Necron Flayed Ones is going to run you 65 points. Tops. It could even be as low as 50 um, if they don't update the points. Now, guys, I'm no mathematician, but 65 points is not a 100-point kill team. Right? Conversely, the Space Marine Heavy Intercessors in 40k are 28 points a model. You can change that based on which guns you give them. So some of their guns are up to 10 points, but in if they follow previous uh, changes they've made in Kill Team, the guns would cost less. So they probably cost between 3 and 6 points. Um, so you're, But still, you're looking at 28 points base for a base model. Um, now guys, you get 5 of them. Which means you can indeed run four of them and have yourselves, uh, or three of them, and, and have a full 100-point um, team. You can even go up to the 200 points by throwing in the Space Marine Captain. That's a full team. Necron Flayed Ones are not a full team. And because of the probable price of a Necron Chronomancer, you're not going to make a decent 100 point kill team or 200 point kill team. They are in a terrible spot. That's a big slip up from GW, I would say. However, again, this is to go alongside the Indomitus box set, really. I mean, let's be honest. This box on its own isn't... Well, no, sorry. For kill team, uh, for for space Marines, it's fine. For f Necrons, this isn't kill team. You cannot now play kill team. You're heavily under, like you don't have enough points to play kill team. Essentially, 
Um, they've had this problem in the past with Gene Stealer Colts um, and then with Reavers. No, you no, you could make a valid kill team with Reavers, sorry. But with Gene Stealer Colts, you had to buy another box. But it's more egregious in this one because even with the Gene Stealer Colts, you were in the 70 point range. This is 65 max. It's really bad. Um, yeah. So I, I don't know what they were thinking uh, when it comes to the neck ones here. In reality, what they were thinking was, you need to go and buy more stuff. Either you already have Indomitus, so you can just add in your Warriors or your Scorpec Destroyer or, whatever, or Crypto Thrills, whatever. Or, and I think this is the way we're going to have to view this box. We're going to have to view it as you get your five flayed ones and you then buy the Recruit Edition for 40k, which will give you 10 Warriors and some Necron Scarabs. And that's how you have to take this box if you're a Necron player. Although I will say um, it will give you, actually, because you'll also be getting the Assault Intercessors, uh, a, a very nice little Primaris um, force there. But you'll have the, the, you can mix and match the Assault Intercessors with the Heavy Intercessors. You'll be able to do some close combat and some long range. I actually think the Space Marines come out of this really well, just from a diversity perspective. Um, and, and, if you get the Recruit box... So do the Necrons. You can get your Flayed Ones, your Warriors, your Scarabs, you'll have a Chronomancer, and you'll have um, the guy that's not an Immortal, him. Who could also double as an Immortal. He's on the right base size and he looks like an Immortal. Um, so actually, if you assume that this Pariah Nexus Kill Team expansion, you also have to buy the Recruit Edition this is really good this is a really good box if you assume that if you want to buy this for itself and you only have necrons you don't have a kill team that's really bad it's a big misstep from gw there um and it is necron themed so you can see that being something people are going to do they're going to come out and they're going to say oh i like necrons oh hey necron doors that looks cool look they're like they're a bit like a coffin, like an ank. Oh, that's nice. And then oh, I can't play kill team. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. Well, good job, G Dubs. Good job. And I think it's okay to give GW crap about this, purely because screw corporations. I guess is kind of what I'm saying on on that one. Actually, like, how could they not throw in another sprue? How was this not just ten Necron flayed ones? That would be fine then. You could have just given us 10 flayed ones. Um, big misstep, kind of a dick move from GW, gonna be honest. Uh, it's not like they're hurting for cash. They could have just done that. And let's talk about price. I cannot see this being under £125. Um, but at the same time, what's on screen isn't worth £125. The reason I say this is because if you look at... The old starter set for Warcry and the absolute crazy good value that was for Terrain and the Warbands. I think that that was really quite cheap for GW. It was, I think it was 120. Um, and so, you know, uh, because of the 25% discount, I could end up picking up for like 90.95, and that was, that was fine. But then the new edition, uh, the Catacombs for Warcry, which gave you uh, the arena side and the open side was more expensive and you got less so i assume we're going to get the same here now quick note ah, damn you gw i do think this is really good as an expansion whatever you've already bought so one of the big issues i have with the current kill team starter set is that the terrain's not enough you don't get enough on the board there. These give you exactly what you need because one of the big things you don't get is scatter terrain in the Kill Team starter set. These little Necron, um, Necron crates? Boom, you now have complete terrain. Congratulations, sir. You can now play a much better version of Kill Team. Um, so that's great. Also, I'm going to assume that all of this, uh, this terrain, these uh, Necron crates, that's the word I'm looking for, crates, are going to be 
an inch or under an inch high, which means you can just run straight over them. I assume that the rules would be written around that, which is great, very nice and clear. Um, and equally, if you don't have the Kill Team start set and you already have Indomitus or the Recruit Edition, this is a brilliant edition because you already have the models you need and you're not going to need any more terrain because of their, they are arena boards. Um, oh yes, uh, one other thing uh, I, I noted, somebody corrected me, is that they're not asymmetrical. They are asymmetrical just on different axes. Um, in arena, they were identical across both axes. Uh, in this, they're only asymmetrical. Uh, they're only symmetrical along the horizontal axes, um, which is interesting. We don't need perfect symmetry to play a balance game. Okay, that that's no big deal for me. I'm okay with with asymmetry on my deployments and such. So that's all good. Uh, no complaints there. I do like what you get. I hope they give us a nice chunky book. It's impossible to say, obviously, but if we look, zoom in on this Kill Team Pariah Nexus book spine and try and guess how thick is that book, that looks thick. That looks like the core book. So that can't just be um, how to play arena rules and the Indomitus data sheets. I think there has to be more in there. I think at the very least we're getting full um, marine data sheet rewrites and full Necron re data sheet rewrites, which means we can start looking at things like death marks with the new synaptic disintegrator are oh, crazy scary. Uh, we can look at T5 immortals. We can look at all of this new stuff um, which is absolutely terrifying. I still don't know if we're actually going to get two wound mini marines because again that would change everything and would make them super viable again. Uh, not that they've ever not been viable in Kill Team, sorry. But still, who knows. Um, 34 objective cards. I don't know what that means for us. So in Arena, which was specifically billed as a two player thing, you had two packs of cards, um, which were secondaries, secondary objectives. And so, for example, if this is the same, then your 34 objective cards would actually be two sets of 12. Um, where, wait, that's not good maths, is it? That would be two sets of 16. Right, what is my maths doing? 15 would be 30, 32, two sets of 17. Am I going to edit that out? No. Um, or it might just be 34 secondaries. Would there be 34 secondaries? That sounds insane. So I'm going to say no. Um, unless they're like mission specific. This is only for a commander. This is only for, you know, whatever. So I, I think we're going to get two sets of 17 secondaries. Will they be updated from Arena? Don't know. But that's it. Anyway, this has just been a summary of Kill Team Pariah Nexus. I haven't said really if it's good or if it's bad. Um, this has just been my initial thoughts on it. Kind of right after filming my live stream of it, which I was um, enjoyed doing. Uh, it was a hobby live stream where I did zero hobby. So take that for what you will. But Kill Team Pariah Nexus. Okay. I'm really excited about it. I think this is good. I like not just the generic fact that Kill Team is getting more releases, but I also like the fact that um, Kill Team is getting this specific box. I do think this is good. Look, Games Workshop wants to make money. Of course, they are going to give us things that they need to be expanded upon. This is an expansion, not an all-in-one game. So, hey, guys, if you've watched my channel, you know me. I, I give GW crap if they need to be given crap. I think this is good unless, it's, unless it costs too much. Let's say that. But I don't think there's a negative 
to this plus the 40k recruit edition i think that would genuinely give you two strong diverse teams and i like arena let's not forget that there also seem to be models standing on top of walls so i don't know what that means I think we will need to wait and see Warhammer community giving us more articles and actually looking at these boards before we can really say, okay, yeah, you know how it goes. GW, they could be doing anything. They could be doing anything at all. Whoever puts these pictures together does not know how this game is played. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, this has been Glass Half Dead. Um, let me know what you think about Pariah Nexus. Uh, my initial thought was I was really excited for it. Um, I think this is good. I know not everybody's happy with it. So, let me know. If this is bad, why do you think it's bad? I feel I've already covered the big things like um, you're not getting a viable kill team in Necrons just from a single purchase. And I've kind of said my reasons as to why I think that's acceptable. No, sorry, it's not. They should have given us 10 flayed ones. Let's say that. But it's not a, it's not a deal breaker for me. It sucks, but it's not a deal breaker. Um, and then I think I've also kind of said, oh, so some people aren't going to like that it's arena and they would prefer open board, obviously, which is fair. Um, again, preference thing, I like arena. I think it's good. Um, but if you're not into it, if you want that spectacle of the great board, then yes, I agree. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. That's it for me. Let me know if you have other reasons, though. Um, Yes, we'd all still like an FAQ. I agree. And as this isn't Kill Team 2.0, we should have been given an FAQ. But that's not what this release is about. Anyway, um, this has been Glass Half Dead. If you're a subscriber, you made it this far to the end of, the end of the video where I somehow ramble for 25 minutes. I apologise. But a big triple hello. Yes, that sound means you, sir. Win at, win at life. But this has been Glass of Dead. I hope you've had a good day. Hope you continue to have a good day. Goodbye.